Hey, what's going on? I'm uh, on South Mountain and I have a big diamondback that's just just a beast. I've been striking, the, striking at the bucket, the top of the bucket the whole way. I'm walking up here and it's actually kind of hard to find good um, places to release diamondbacks sometimes on South Mountain because of the number of, uh, there's a lot of private property and fences. I think I've got a good spot here with this boulder. And it's kind of in the right spot. It's on like a kind of minor interior rock outcrop. They can get to different exposures very quickly. So this is what I look for. And um, I had to hike a good long way to get here too. It's, uh, it's in the right area. So sometimes you have to go up, up and around to get to where you'd normally be able to if you just had more reasonable uh, fences. <laughs> here he is, big diamondback, very striky and defensive. So I'm making sure I have a good uh, good place to step to if I need to. Like that, like if the bucket falls over. Come on. Yeah, he's gonna be a pain. Let's gonna do this. Because this one can strike over the top of the bucket. Which isn't normal, but it happens. He was living under a hot tub. Hot tub double is good den opportunities if there's access to them. Hiss. About as defensive as it gets, and you'll notice he is not coming towards me. So I'll shove him back there. I don't want any hikers to run into him. It's be nice and secure back there. Come on, it's a cave. You know what to do. Get down there. Turn this off and get out of here. I'm about a good two mile hike from the car. So, see you later.